Memoirs of an Elf by Devin Cillian and illustrated by Tim Bowers. This journal belongs to Spark Elf. If found, return immediately to the North Pole. Please and thank you. Memoirs of an Elf. Christmas Eve, 9.45 p.m. Two hours until launch on Christmas Eve. The sleigh is loaded and I feel great. My ears are no nice and pointy and I'm feeling extra short today. Bob in a nutshell look really good too. Around the world in 24 hours and it's our job to keep Santa on schedule. I feel so good, I snap an Elfie. 10.45 p.m. One hour before launch and it begins to snow. The reindeer love it. We elves have a saying, no snow, no Christmas. But at the North Pole, it has snowed every Christmas Eve for like 600 years, so no problem. I send a text to Santa. Time to fly, big guy. He says I worry too much. He's probably right. Little known fact, Santa is a really smart guy. Midnight. Launch time. Santa kisses Mama Claus and waves to the other elves. I've got the GPS. Bobbin is in charge of the toy bag, and Nutshell has the nice list. Little known fact, we don't even bring the naughty, naughty list with us. A crack of the whip, and away we go into the polar sky. I start the timer. 24 hours to go. 22 hours to go. So far, so good. Guam and Fiji were a little warm, but back up above the clouds, we're as cool as popsicles as we head for New Zealand. Santa is singing, here comes Santa Claus. Little known fact. It's his favorite carol. No music, no Christmas. That's what I always say. 18 hours to go. Starting to worry about falling behind. Santa always wants to stop and pet every dog. Little known fact, Santa loves dogs and dogs love Santa. He's playing with a dog named Tugboat when I yell down the chimney, Santa, we gotta go. And Santa just laughs, ho, 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 like he always does. 12 hours to go halfway around the world. Bob and a nutshell are arguing about whether the bag is half full or half empty. We're falling farther behind because the kids have left more cookies than usual this year. Santa tries to eat all of them, except ginger snaps. Little known fact, Santa doesn't like ginger, ginger snaps, so he gives all of those to me, Bob and a nutshell. Little known fact number two, you should leave ginger snaps for Santa. Ha, please and thank you. Nine hours to go. We're really slow getting out of Mexico City. Kids there leave tamales for Santa, and he loves tamales as much as cookies. I point to my watch and say, come on, big guy. No Santa, no Christmas. And Santa just laughs and says, not true, Spark. I'll bet you a candy cane. Little known fact, when Santa is serious about something, he bets you a candy cane. Four hours to go. We made up time in Brazil, but now Santa is taking too long again. This time he's playing with a train set that just he just delivered. We're waiting so long that the reindeer start nibbling on some tinsel. No, I yell. Little known fact, reindeer love tinsel, but it makes them hyper. It's like 50 cups of coffee. Bob and drag Santa away from the train set. 30 minutes to go. With all of the toys gone, the sleigh is a very light now, and it's a good thing because the reindeer are exhausted. Santa pokes his head out of the last chimney and yells, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. We made it with half an hour to spare. Little known fact, at the last house, we always join hands and sing, Silent Night, the reindeer too. Then we head for home. The North Pole, ta-da, we've done it again. Around the world in one night, and we made it to every house. We land at the North Pole where everyone is there to greet us. They're singing and dancing and lots of hot chocolate. Oh, and French toast. But as we're unloading the sleigh, Bobbin says he doesn't think the toy bag is empty. How can that be? We gave away every present on the list. But it's not a present in the bag, and it just licked Bobbin's ear. It's Tugboat. Ho, ho, ho. We have a stowaway, laughs Santa as Tugboat covers his face in kisses. Santa is laughing and smiling, but I'm not laughing. I'm panicking. Santa, I say we stole someone's dog. The music stops and everyone's quiet. 
This has never happened before. Mama Claus says what everyone is thinking. I don't think it's a very good Christmas morning at Tugboat's house. Well-known fact, Santa gives things away. He does not take th things. We are in ginormous trouble. Any ideas, asks Santa. Bob instead says we should stay put. We should put Tugboat in a box and mail him home. Nutshell says we should keep Tugboat for a year and take him back next Christmas. And I suggest we put Tugboat in a hot air balloon that he would probably mostly be sort of okay. Mama Claus is the only one thinking clearly. Get back in the sleigh, she yells. But the sun is just coming up. Little known fact, we have never flown during the day. People could see us. We put sunglasses on the reindeer and change into disguises that probably aren't very good. The reindeer are tired and confused, but Santa gives them a few nibbles of tinsel and they race for the runway. Suddenly, we're off like a rocket into the sky. We're all very worried, except Tugboat. He's having the ride of his life. 9 a.m. Christmas morning. We land behind some trees near Tugboat's house. Bob and a nutshell stay with Tugboat while Santa and I creep up to the window. It's worse than we thought. There are, there are all of the presents we brought, but they haven't been touched. The children are crying. Their mother is on the phone and their father is standing in the doorway yelling, Tugboat, Tugboat, here, boy. How oh, dreadful, whispers Santa. We sneak back to the sleigh. Now it gets complicated. Bobbin thinks we should sneak Tugboat down the chimney. Nutshell is thinking about a big slingshot, and I'm wondering if the back door is open. It seems impossible, really. But Santa gives Tugboat a pat and says, go ahead, boy, and in a flash, Tugboat takes off like a rabbit through the trees, plowing through the snow and toward the house. All of a sudden, the whole family is in a pile covering Tugboat with hugs and kisses. More tears now, but they're the good kind. And I have honestly never seen a happier family on Christmas morning. Santa looks at me and smiles. No tugboat, no Christmas, he says. He's right. Of course he's right. I slide a candy cane from my pocket and hand it to Santa as we climb back into the sleigh. Little known fact, Santa is a really smart guy. We're really happy, and before we head for home, we snap an Elfie. Have a Merry Christmas, please, and thank you.